Hey guys, it's Mr. Ricker again. So this video is on the assignment for finding angle measures between intersecting lines. I know it's like a really, really long title. I don't know why they made the title so long, but they did. So the main thing you want to look for in this, because this can be confusing, but like anything, if you take your time and you work with it, it can be okay. Look for the any complementary, supplementary, or vertical angles that can help you out. So the first example here is going to be, as you can see it here, this line right here is supplementary because it is a straight line. So this is equal to 180 degrees. So this line right here is 180 degrees. So if this whole thing is 180, so all of these three added up equal 180, I can take 70 away from 180 and then 30 away from that, and that's going to equal what x is. It helps me find that out. So up here, 180, oh, we got a little glare there. Move that over some. There we go. Minus the 70. All right, that's 110. And then take away the 30. So that is going to make x equal to what? Sorry, I'm waiting to see if you can't answer it first. But yeah, it's x equals 80 degrees. So x equals 80 in that case. So there we had a supplementary line. Now the next one I'm going to draw for you is a little different. So give me a second here. I'll have it ready just here in a second. I want to make sure that all the lines are good and everything. And by the way, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. So when I have a new video for you, you'll be able to watch it and be able to tell when everything comes out. And if you know how, anybody who hasn't subscribed from the class yet, go ahead and get on them to do it. Okay, so here we go. So here's this next one. As you can see, you've got a straight line, a straight line, a straight line. So you've got all kinds of like 180 degree angles, all supplementary. This, of course, means 90 degrees. Now, I'm going to go ahead and write that there. Because if I know that this is 90, and of course, there's a couple different ways you can find this out. So I know that this is 90. So that means this side right here has to be 90. Or this whole line right here has to be 180. Or this whole line right here has to be 180. So there's different ways to look at it. Now, if I were to take, okay, 120, I'm oh, sorry, 20 plus 90, that's 110. So these two are 110. And this is on a straight line, so that's 180. So again, you could take 180, and you could subtract the 110 away, but I'm just going to do this way. 180 minus 90 is 90 minus 20 that makes x equal to 70 degrees so again it's on a straight line so that's 180 so these three added up need to equal 180 as well all right for your next one it's kind of similar to that so i'll try to draw it pretty quick here but you have to find something just a little different okay. I hope nobody's driving their parents crazy. So if you do, just tell them, hey, i got to do this work. What are you going to do? You can answer it with me. Um, so we've got a 90-degree angle right here. Now, I know you can't write it on the screen, of course, but you can make a little mental note that this is 90 degrees. Okay, so this also you can do vertical angles. If this is 90, guess what this is? Well, that means that this is 90. And if this is 90, and this is 90, and this is 20, then this is 20. So vertical angles. And just like on the other one, 90 and 20 is 110. This is 180, this is 180, this is 180. So again, it's just all the same thing here. 180 minus 110, which is the 20 and the 90 put together is equal to 70 degrees again. So that is, again, 70 degrees. And the last...
last one I'm going to show you here for this video. Now this can be tricky. This is another one of those where you really got to take your time. Just go slow. If you get something wrong, just go ahead and do the assignment again. You know, no reason to stick with a low grade if you get one. Just go ahead and get a, a high grade. Just keep doing it until you get it right. Or the all right, I should say. Okay, so let's say you have something like this. So this is 70, this is 30. What is not just this, and not just this, but this and this combined? Well, if I know that, just say for instance, all right, 70 and 30, that's 100. Well, this is a straight line, which means this is 180. So that means here's 100, so this has to be 80. Now, do you notice also that this is vertical to this? This is vertical to this. So this is vertical to both of these. So this right here should be 70 and 30 together. This should be 100. And just to check, 80 plus 100, it's on a straight line. 80 plus 100 is 180. So again, take your time with these. There's different ways you can figure out. I know it's harder. Um, there's no Khan Academy videos for this one, but if you look up on YouTube on other videos, you might be able to find something, I don't know, or just, you know, replay this video over and over until you can start seeing it. And take your time with it. You know, open up one browser for the Khan Academy video, or it's Khan Academy assignments, and then one for uh, our videos. And then just go back and forth. And take your time with it. There's no time limit. So, uh, hope everybody's doing okay. I'll talk to you soon.